and you've got a dessert for us to try, Mark. That's right, we're doing sweet treat bacon in the kitchen today. So if you like apple crumble, you like rhubarb, and you like cookies, you're gonna love this. Apple crumble cookies with a rhubarb compote and some nice vanilla cream as well. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Really simple to do, and I'll show you a little bit later on in the show. Back over to you guys. Right, here we are in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, we're making a delicious dessert with apple and rhubarb. Is that in season now, rhubarb, is it? That is, well, it's got coming out in season now, but you can pretty much get rhubarb most of the year round. We, we used to grow this in Southland in the garden, and I just used to sit in the garden and eat it raw. Oh, I love it, yeah. <laughs> eat it raw and dip it in some sugar, and you get the oh, sweet and sour. Beautiful. Balance. It's probably not nice. good for you, but. No. Um, <laughs> it was a it's little nice time. <laughs> okay, so what do we need to do to get this going? Right, I don't know. I'm, don't you need don't to start know? with rhubarb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, we're going to make the cookie dough mix. So we've yes. got these apples so we've got these like dried apples here so these nice. are beautiful so try a little bit of this okay nice so you know quite firm sweet but really intense flavor oh, right good. so that's that's gonna get us our apple flavor into the um, cookie yeah and it's and, and the good thing about doing it with dried ones is it's not gonna like uh, make the cookie dough too wet and they're gonna be really thin soggy so it's a good there. tip yeah nice Okay. <laughs> Every <Hate> time. <laughs> now you're gonna put it on properly. It is on there properly. Yeah. There you go, nice. There you go. I just want to whisk these up. Yes. And what? Oh, we well, don't need to yell anymore. <laughs> right. So we're just whizzing them on it. Yeah, we're just right? gonna break. Yep. We'll break them up. Oh, but you can smell it now. You can smell that beautiful sort of sweet apple flavour. Right. A bit of sugar goes in there now. Yep. Uh, some flour. Nice. And some uh, cold uh, cubes of butter back on and then we want to whiz it up and we're looking for that sort of crumble stage okay and you'll know when it gets to the crumble stage I right. hope so there you go you can sort of see it now a little bit more so it's all mixing together see well that looks too dry for me but is it it's not finished yet. okay so oh, <laughs> all right what do right. I know <laughs> so so what we're we making apple crumble cookies yes right. oh yeah sweet yes so right so what we want to do, oh, I'm not going to take it off the wires, I'm going to get it started again. Right, we're going to take a little bit of this mixture. Yes. So this is like ultimately apple crumble. Yeah, nice, right. I hear you. So it's not a cookie mix yet, is it? No, it's not. No, right. So back in, hang on, egg. So we're going to get an egg, and we're going to put an egg in there, and we're going to bind it, and that's going to turn that into a cookie. Okay. And leave that as a crumble, okay? Oh, I, I just thought you'd made a mistake and forgot to put the egg in, <laughs> but there's a, a method to your madness. Okay. Right, so you put the egg in and get it all to mix together, so it'll, just that uh, moisture in there will just bind, bind everything it. together. So you can see it's coming together. You happy? A little bit more. A little bit more. You know what's really good in cookies? A pinch of salt as well. Yeah. Just a little bit, just okay. brings out the flavour. You don't want to make it too salty, but okay, it will bring nice. out the flavour. Just go easy. All right. That comes together. Got our cookie dough mix here. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, we'll, just, we'll get rid of the blade. Right, so what we want to do now is just mould it. So get it out, mould it into a nice ball. <laughs> it's like the chef on the Muppets. Do we do we do do do? Okay. Right. <laughs> nice. <but laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Right, and then just 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 sort of squash it down a bit into okay. that sort of shape, nice and even. Yeah. And then the little crumble mix, what we reserved, gonna sprinkle that over the oh, top. Oh, that makes it fancy there and rich and worthy, there doesn't you go. it? Right. <laughs> that's your job. Okay. Cool. Thanks, chef. And uh, we do that until we finished up all the dough. Leave a bit of space in between because it will sort of like um, sort of soften and go out. Right. Uh, I'm going to bake that in an oven until it's nice and crisp. So it won't take long. We're going to put that in. Come back a little bit later, and we're going to make the rhubarb compote. And Mike's going to be whipping lots of cream. Oh, good! My favourite <laughs> job. So is that about right there, Chef? Does that look good? Uh, we need to finish off our compote. We've got the cookies there in the oven. So 200 degrees for about eight to ten minutes. Yep. So they're nicely cooked. All right, we're going to wait for cream. <laughs> In the oven. <laughs> Jeez, now he's the Muppet. Okay. <laughs> right. So cream. <laughs> yeah. So we've got some cream, so you can whip that. Okay. A little bit of icing sugar, just to uh, just to give it a little bit of sweetness. You mm -hmm. know, it's up to you how much you want to put in. And then some vanilla. So a fresh pod. Yeah. So scrape your uh, pod, flatten it, tip of the knife, cut it in half. And then use the tip of the knife, scrape out all these beautiful seeds. I love using proper vanilla. And then pop that in, and there you go. Beautiful vanilla cream, really easy. And then the vanilla, the um, you know the the the, the pod. The rest of it. <laughs> Put it in some sugar, make vanilla sugar, or pop it in your compote now, it's really good. Ooh, right. Nice. In a pan, a little splash of water, and that's just gonna help the rhubarb go in, get going. And then just going to take the tops off, take any bottom bits off, and then we're just going to roughly chop it just into some nice little chunks. 
And it's quite a hard um, fruit, but with that heat, it will break down. It goes quite fibrous. Yeah. But you, you just want to watch as well, you know? So you'll have to cook it, cook it, won't be doing anything, won't be doing anything, and then it'll just go to mush. So you want, you want almost like half of it mush, so it sort of goes around, but you still want to leave a little bit of texture in there. You know what I mean? So it's not just like jam. How's the feet <gasps> going? Did yeah. they not invent a machine to do this? <laughs> yeah, Mike. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I might give you milk, actually, so you could be here all day. <laughs> oh, I, would... <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Well, the show's ending soon, <laughs> so we don't have that much time. So a little bit of sugar, because rhubarb is quite sour, so you need that whole balance in there. Right. I've got a little bit of orange as well. Orange and rhubarb's really good, so we're just going to do a little bit of zest in there, make it really nice and fruity. And then cut it in half, a little bit of orange juice as well. That goes in there. That's really good. I'm going to cook that down. Star anise as well. So this is beautiful. So mm, an it is. star anise with the name. So it's aniseedy, sort of, you know, a lot in Asian cooking, but really, it works really well in dessert. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I've made butter. Vanilla butter. What is that? Oh, oh I right. have. Is that because I whipped it too much? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, sorry about that. So this is exactly what you don't do. So you want to you wanna whip it, and then when, when it starts to thicken... I'm leaving the kitchen now. <laughs> and when it starts to thicken, stop whipping it. Just so it just holds its own shape, and it'll be beautiful with the cookies. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm going I'll... to milk the cow to get some more. <laughs> Normally I'd say I'd try and bring that back and fix it, but there's no help in that at all. Um, or Mike. Uh, so I'm going to whip some more of that before the end of the show. We can serve with our cookies. We'll just keep an eye on our rhubarb. It's just going to cook down. And then taste it. Always taste the rhubarb at the end, you know? If it's, if it's still a bit tart or if you want it a bit sweeter, just add a little bit more sugar. Just make sure it dissolves. And if it's a little bit too sweet, just finish it with a bit of lime. Oh. Would you like me to help next time? Fantastic, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Finally, some professional help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mel, mm, well, just a quick question. Whereabouts did you get your inspiration for your top from today? Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Mark, sorry about ruining your dessert, but it's turned out fine now that you've got somebody else to help you. <laughs> this, is, this is what the cream should look like. <laughs> well, it looks delicious.